This video is about finding the length of vectors, finding unit vectors, which are vectors of length 1, and working with a special collection of unit vectors called the standard basis vectors. The length of a vector w is denoted with these double absolute value signs, or some sources will use just a single absolute value sign instead for length. If the vector has components w1, w2, w3, then the length is given by the square root of w1 squared plus w2 squared plus w3 squared. This vector has three components, so it's a vector in 3D. If instead we had a vector in 2D, say with components v1, v2, then its length would be given by the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared. If these formulas for the length of vectors remind you of the distance formula, you're exactly right. If we draw our vector in 2D and put its initial point at the origin, so here's V with components V1 and V2, since its initial point is at the origin, its terminal point will just be at the point with coordinates V1, V2, and so you can use the distance formula to find the length. The distance formula is just the square root of the difference in x coordinate squared plus the difference in y coordinate squared. So that's v1 minus 0 squared and v2 minus 0 squared since this initial point is at 0, 0. So that's exactly the same thing as the length of the vector. And you can do a similar distance formula argument to see that a vector in 3D, its length given by the distance formula, gives us this formula here. The length of a vector is also sometimes called its magnitude or its norm. A unit vector is a vector of length 1. So, for example, the vector A with components 3, 4 is not a unit vector because the length of a, which is the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, is 5, which is not 1. But what if we wanted to find a unit vector in the same direction as a? Well, since a is 5 times too long to be a unit vector, the simple thing to do is just multiply a by 1 fifth. So 1 fifth times a is 1 fifth times the components 3 and 4, so that's 3 fifths, 4 fifths. We can check the length of this vector 3 fifths, 4 fifths is going to be the square root of 3 fifths squared plus 4 fifths squared. I can factor out a 1 fifth squared from each of these terms and rewrite this as 1 fifth times the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared or 1 fifth times 5, which is 1. Notice that to turn a into a unit vector, we divided by the norm or length of a. Or in other words, multiplied by the reciprocal of the norm of a. This same technique works anytime we want to find a unit vector in the direction of a given vector. So we've already answered this question. To rescale any vector v to make it a unit vector, we just multiply v by 1 over the length of v. This process of rescaling a vector to make it a unit vector is also called normalizing the vector. Please pause the video for a moment to find a unit vector that has the same direction as this vector with components 5, 1, 3. Well, since the length of our given vector is the square root of 5 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared, that's the square root of 35, we need to take our vector and multiply it by 1 over the square root of 35. That can be written in components as 5 over the square root of 35, 1 over the square root of 35, 3 over the square root of 35. So this is our 
unit vector. There's a particular collection of unit vectors that's very handy to work with, and these are the standard basis vectors. In two dimensions, the standard basis vectors are the vector 1, 0, we call that the vector i, and the vector 0, 1, which we call the vector j. If we draw these two vectors on the coordinate plane with their initial points at the origin, then the vector i goes in the direction of the x-axis, and the vector j goes in the direction of the y-axis. In three dimensions, the standard basis vectors are denoted i, j, and k, and they have components 1, 0, 0 for i, 0, 1, 0 for j, and 0, 0, 1 for k, and i, j, and k are the vectors that extend along the direction of the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis, respectively. Note that all of these vectors are unit vectors. They all have length 1. Any vector can always be written in terms of sums of multiples of standard basis vectors. For example, if we wanted to write the vector with components 3, negative 2, 7 as a sum of multiples of standard basis vectors, then we want to write it as something times i plus something times j plus something times k. It's not hard to see that if we just use the components here and put them in the blanks, 3, negative 2, and 7, and then work this out, we get 3, 0, 0, plus 0, minus 2, 0, plus 0, 0, 7, which is 3, negative 2, 7, like we want. So the vector with components 3, negative 2, 7 is the same thing as 3i minus 2j plus 7k. And in general, a vector with components, say, v1, v2, v3, can easily be written as v1i plus v2j plus v3k. A similar statement can be made for vectors with two components. In this video, we use the distance formula to find vector length. We define unit vectors, which are vectors of length 1, and we notice that if we take a vector and multiply it by the scalar 1 over its length, then this gives us a unit vector in the same direction as the original vector. We also introduce the standard basis vectors, i and j, or i, j, and k, in three dimensions, and showed that any vector can be written in terms of standard basis vectors.